wife who needs a job. Astonishing moment Prince Harry appears to tout Meghan Markle for a Disney voiceover job as he's seen explaining her credentials to Hollywood mogul Bob Iger at Lion King premiere. Meghan Markle's voiceover deal with Disney could have been swung by Harry after video footage emerged of the prince seemingly trying to persuade franchise boss Bob Iger to give his wife a job. At the Lion King premiere in London last July, the Duke of Sussex collared the powerful Disney chief and advertised his ex-actress partner's interest in doing voiceover work. During the hushed conversation, caught on camera by a fan, the prince gestures to Meghan and says, You do know she does voice-overs? Iger can be heard replying, Ah, I did not know that. Harry then responds, You seem surprised. She's really interested. The Disney chief then says, We'd love to try. That's a great idea. It was revealed yesterday by The Times that Meghan has signed a voiceover deal with the Walt Disney Company in exchange for a donation to Elephants Without Borders, a wildlife charity that helps to track and protect the animals from poachers. The star-studded premiere last summer raised funds for Harry's conservation projects in Africa, particularly raising awareness of the dwindling numbers of lions in Kenya. Alongside a raft of celebrities including Beyoncé and Elton John, the Duke and Duchess attended the event in their capacity as senior royals, a position they are poised to renounce. This bombshell decision on Wednesday sent shockwaves reverberating through the royal family, and on a day of high behind-the-scenes drama. The Queen demanded Princes Harry, William and Charles attend an unprecedented crisis summit at Sandringham on Monday to put an end to the turmoil. Harry was believed to be in no rush to thrash out a deal which did not secure the best financial settlement from him and Meghan. Her Majesty was pictured stony-faced as she emerged from her Norfolk estate behind the wheel of her Land Rover for the second day running. A source rubbished speculation the Sussexes planned to settle down on Vancouver Island where they spent Christmas and instead touted Toronto or LA as potential cities. Reuters reported that negotiations between Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, Kensington Palace and the Sussex household has been progressing well. Meghan recorded the voiceover before the royal couple left for their six-week Christmas break to Canada in a pound 10.7 million mansion on Vancouver Island. Friends say Meghan is keen to try her hand at directing too, as she wants to keep close ties with the film industry but doesn't want to have her face on the big screen again just yet. Yet branching into voice-overs could be a hint towards how the couple become financially independent when they cut ties with the royal family. Experts said becoming a brand ambassador for a global giant such as Oracle could earn the couple tens of millions annually. A nine-figure sum each year dash dollar one hundred million, would add up to dollar one billion, pound seven sixty million, over a decade. The couple have yet to say exactly how they will meet their ambition to become financially independent. But their unique stellar cachet, blending blue blood and Hollywood royalty, could net them huge amounts. During tense talks before Christmas, senior members of the royal family accused the pair of already agreeing to a deal with firms including Disney, according to one report. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shocked the world this week by announcing their intention to step back as senior royals, blindsiding the Queen with their decision. Since their bombshell Instagram statement Wednesday night, Meghan boarded a BEA flight back to Vancouver Island while palace officials worked furiously to thrash out a workable solution to the Sussexes role in the future. The Queen will host unprecedented crisis talks with Princess Harry. Charles and William as Sandringham on Monday to end the turmoil engulfing the royal family in the wake of the Sussex's bombshell decision to quit. An insider claimed tonight that Harry will come face to face with Her Majesty for the first time since announcing his and Meghan's desire to step back as senior members of the family. Palace and Sussex household courtiers have been racing to find a solution to the Duke and Duchess's desire to quit their official duties after the Queen yesterday laid down a 72-hour ultimatum for the discussions to be resolved. In spite of Harry digging in his heels to extract the best financial terms possible from this new arrangement, a royal source confirmed to Reuters that round-table discussions are progressing well in consultation with both British and Canadian governments. 
But this progress has not prevented the monarch from demanding the most senior royals to a crunch summit tomorrow, according to P.A. Her Majesty was stony-faced today as she was pictured behind the wheel of her Land Rover in Sandringham, Norfolk. Her public outing displayed her determination to carry on as normal, while behind-the-scenes officials were working furiously to thrash out a strategy to end the turmoil raging through the family ranks. Cabinet Secretary Sir Mark said Will has been involved in these at-pace negotiations with staff from Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, and Kensington Palace, according to The Observer. Palace aides were also forced to deny Meghan and Harry were being driven out of the royal family, saying the couple would be at the center of a potentially streamlined monarchy. The Sussexes left son Archie with their nanny when they came back to London from Canada on Monday following a six-week Christmas break. Meghan, 38, who left the UK on Thursday, is understood to have not booked the return flight. Sources confirmed to the Mail there are no official engagements in her diary for the foreseeable future as she was understood to have taken a BA flight to a gated waterfront mansion on Vancouver Island.